All right, so we are in the guest room, and we are going to try to get this room ready. Woo! We have guests coming this weekend, and then the weekend after that is the kids' birthday party. We had to postpone it because of dad's surgery. So, what are you doing? Keep stuff out the way. Chris is just, I brought up the pads to move the bed, too. Okay, cool. So, I got these little furniture moving pads to go under the bed. But anyway, I want to show y'all, I picked out some wallpaper for up here because my, I guess, vision for this room, I want it to look like it belonged in this farmhouse and kind of have that feeling like when you stayed at your grandmother's house as a kid. I know not everybody would have experiences like this. Maybe it's your great aunt, your grandmother, whatever. But that sweet older lady in your life that you'd go over to her house and her guest room was just so comfortable and homey. And so I'm kind of going for that feel for up here because it's, you know, upstairs in the farmhouse. And I want it to just have that cozy grandmother feel. So a lot of you may not like the wallpaper choice that I picked and that's okay. I will show you on here. It's like a blue floral print. And I'm thinking with this and the bed and the curtains, it will just have a timeless old lady feel. <laughs> I think that's my design genre is old lady. Right, Chris? <laughs> this is not Chris's preference either, but I'm hoping it works with the vision I have in my mind. We will see. I love the view of my garden from upstairs. It makes me happy. It's very yellow in here because of the lights overhead, but I love it. I was really nervous at first, but I'm just imagining like this piece right here up against it and how good it's going to look. I wish on here it was more portraying what color it is. Like it's the background on this is white, not yellow, but it looks so good. All right, we got one wall done, but it's 9:30. And we're exhausted. All right, Chris. <laughs> but it looks so good. What'd you say, honey? It's like going back to grandma's house. <laughs> okay, look at the wallpaper in the daylight. It just, it looks like it belongs here. Call me crazy, but this is like the perfect vibe I was going for. Like that upstairs, cozy, farmhouse bedroom. <laughs> I'm so excited. So I got this dresser off of Facebook Marketplace to go in the guest room and I just wiped it down and I'm really excited about it. Also, my tomatoes are on day three of hardening off. They stayed outside for about three hours today and they look so happy. All right, so I don't think I updated y'all that we had run out of wallpaper <laughs> with one wall left. So the wallpaper was delivered yesterday, Chris? Sorry. Yesterday. So we're gonna go ahead and get this finished, but it's looking really nice. I will say, this is wallpaper from Home Depot. I will link it, but I have noticed a difference in the quality between this and our bedroom wallpaper. And I don't know if it's a combination of this just being a cheaper made wallpaper because this is about it was about $60 per roll, right? And the one that I used in our bedroom was like... 117 Yeah, it was more expensive. Like so you can definitely tell, but then these walls, I don't know if you can see, they're very textured. So we're having to use a lot of paste to get it to stick. And then the paste makes the wallpaper bubble. And then the texture, like you can just see the texture underneath it. So it's very imperfect. Don't look too closely, but it works, and I think it looks really pretty. Don't you love it, Chris? It's my favorite. <laughs> All right, first we ran out of wallpaper, and then we ran out of glue when we only had that left. So we had to go to Lowe's, and now... Round four, <laughs> baby. You ready? <laughs> it's the final countdown. Hopefully. What else could we run out of? Uh, steam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are working on something that I am super excited about. We are going to put irrigation, so we're going to do some drip lines in the garden, 
and Chris is going to be working on that while I mow some grass and I'm just so excited that I don't have to haul around that heavy hose. I almost broke all of my seedlings every time I was trying to go in between the rows watering it. So I'm very excited. Here's the man himself working on the irrigation. What you got hooked up over here? So that's the new timer. Uh, so it works hopefully with an app on your phone is what it says. We'll see how it does. That'd be cool. We got this kit from Lowe's. It was like $50, right? Yeah, 50 something. And then we had to get some extra tubing to be long enough. But Chris is going to figure all this out. Oh yeah, no problem. And I'm going to mow the jungle that is this garden so that he can see where to run stuff. All right, the grass is cut. Looks so much better. And Chris has got a trench dug all this way. Look at that. You tired yet? No, I'm just getting started. <laughs> so what I did to start is Courtney got this awesome timer, so um, this thing works through your phone, which is pretty cool. From here, there's like this backflow check valve. Essentially won't let water come back into your system, so you gotta have it, it came with a kit. This is a pressure regulator, so it takes that water pressure down. Um, and then this is a filter, so inside of here there's a filter that you can take out and clean, and then the water is gonna follow this hose. We're gonna take that hose down, in this big beautiful trench that I dug. Look at that soil. Can we just talk about the color of this soil? Rich. It's beautiful. Sorry. <laughs> then we'll take at the corners you don't want to bend it because it can crimp the hose. Okay. So they make these little elbows. So we'll set that elbow down in there and run straight. All right. Chris has all of the black tubing. This is half inch tubing. Which is sure. They're by my chair. This is half inch tubing, which is the source from the water hose. And then from there we have fourth inch tubing that will go down each of the rows. And then it has this little end piece that like we can winterize the water. We can flush it out if we need to. But he's making good progress. And we use like these little wire clasps to hold the hose down. You sure do have a cute little helper there. Don't call me cute. <laughs> Stunningly handsome. There it is. Yes, that's much better. <laughs> so this connects to this. And it's got little bitty holes in it where the emitters are. And that's where the water comes out every 12 inches. <laughs> See it dripping? And he just turned it on to test it out. Yep. Wait, it's dripping. Yep. All right, so Chris has half of the garden done. Close. Good job, babe. Woo. He's starting on that half. And I started working on something while he was doing that. I decided to mulch around the blackberries and the blueberries because mowing around them is very difficult and we just have we don't have a zero turn mower that makes it easy to go like in a small space in a circle so it was taking me way longer to mow this than any other part of the garden i could get it all mowed really well but then like in this blackberry here you know it was really small down to the ground and so now you can see all of them and it just looks more tidy so Hopefully now that will help with some of the weed control and we can just mow up and down here. We're eventually going to put up some kind of trellis system to hold the blackberries in place. But to me it just looks so nice. My hanging baskets are doing well. And this, oh my goodness. <laughs> and my little planters are looking so good. They're starting to fill out a little bit. And so far the chickens have left them alone, so that's good, but the porch is looking happy and full of life with these puppies and children. Alright, so Chris asked me if I wanted to have irrigation to the peach trees, and I thought that was a marvelous idea, Chris. Woo! So he just ran um, 
off of one of the rows and did the same thing down there. So now my peaches will be irrigated. And really the only thing I'll have to water is my stuff in the shade over there and then the blueberries and blackberries. But I don't water those every day, just ever so often. All right, we're turning it on. And garden. Hmm, test. Let's test it for, what do you want to do, two minutes? All right, let's go make sure every row is dripping. Look at all those little dark circles. Every line is working. Chris, how did you pull that off? You're the man. So excited. All right, so while I was out mowing grass, this poor little, pretty sure it's a Carolina wren, was injured in the ditch. So I caught it and I think its legs are injured. I thought it was its wing, but we're gonna try to just make it comfortable. I don't really know what else to do, but I feel so bad for it. I guess it got hit by a car out there. I, have the I found them all. I knew this was a jackpot. Look how many worms we found. We found them all in the same place under this trash. Was a jack. Look yummy. Like no crazy lady. I just got hit by a car. I don't care about worms. We caught a bird. Hey. And it's the same oh, one as on the worms. Thanks. Yep, I it's the all. same bird. Can I keep one? This is so It looks like it has whiskers. I'm going to name you cute. What should we name it? I don't know. It will put us one here. Maybe. Oh, yeah, this one's a good one. Okay, just put like two. We'll start off with two. Poor thing. Do you think he's gonna make it? My guess is probably not, but we're gonna try our best. I just Ooh. gave it some water. Did it drink it? Not really. How do you feel about the bird, Chris? Good. Put him in our bed. This <laughs> probably where he's best chance of surviving. <laughs> Chris told me to put it back in the ditch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Be okay. So all of this material can only mean one thing, right? That's right. What are you doing? Well, I'm using a stake because I don't have a chisel, but it's got a sharp end on it, and I'm making me a little slot in here. Hashtag all my tools are in storage problem. <laughs> so I'm using the wrong hammer and the wrong tool to slice out this a little bit. I call that ingenious. Oh, right. <laughs> but I'm he's putting... do some research with Eli, too, on the bird. Oh. We're going to see uh, if there are any videos on YouTube to how to save a bird. Okay. So Chris is putting these little grooves in it to slide the lattice on the side. So we're going to do an arbor over the gate, and I'm going to do some climbing roses. And I'm so excited. You can just tell, Chris, that you really love gardening with all the effort that you put into. I hope what you see here is how much I love my wife. <laughs> I love you too. Aww. <laughs> what was that? Aww. <laughs> all right, we have it in the shade resting. We've just got to make sure that the cats don't stick their paws through there and try to get it. You think you can keep an eye out? Yeah, but it it it's too light. Oh. The paws cats small. can get really creative, so we just gotta make sure we keep it safe from the cats. All right, back to mowing grass for me. Are y'all ready to see the guest room? <whistles> Hollis is ready. <laughs> what do we think?
Okay, so Mimi and Pops are here. Yeah. They're about to go on a picnic. Yay. Picnic. And then I'm going to go out. The guys got cattle panels to do trellises for the tomatoes. And then we're going to go out there and hopefully get my tomato plants planted. What's going on out here? Slave labor. <laughs> <laughs> I come see my grandchildren and what am I doing? Get to work. <laughs> <laughs> now that you're recovering well, we're just going to put you back to work. <laughs> so how many cattle panels do we have? Nine. They're Nine. super excited about it if you can't tell. <laughs> oh yeah. We've got all this metal to hold up. Tomatoes? <laughs> <laughs> Trust the process. <laughs> <laughs> Must be some bad tomato. We need to open the gate first, huh? You ready? He's gonna open the gate. <laughs> then we're gonna take these panels and put them in there to hold tomatoes. <laughs> tomatoes are heavy. <laughs> oh, it don't work that way, huh? <laughs> as he patted her spotted brown muzzle. What's going on here? What are you doing? We're reading Max letters. Is it fun? Yes. Fun. They're great. I love We're these. having a good time. Oh, good. <laughs> I love Making good progress. Got two rows done. Zertek. I don't want you to be like, hurt you. Like, no, I'm not. Oh, okay. 